There the trip. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. First for the Lakers, Nash and Bryant in the back. And holding down the middle out of Central Michigan University, the skilled and ambidextrous seven-footer, Chris Heeman. Then there's Nick Young, and it's Gasol at the power forward. And for Portland, we've got Miritich. A big game for this young man, making his NBA debut. Then there's Rudy Fernandez, and it's Aldridge in at the power forward position. You know, guys, Portland had one of the worst benches in the history of the league last season. You know, they didn't get much contribution there. It was almost like they went into every game playing 5 versus 12. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Yes, Kevin. Earlier I spoke with Mike D'Antoni. 
He talked about the respect he has for the game of LaMarcus Aldridge and how tough it will be for them to slow him down, saying Aldridge is tough because he can score facing up or with his back to the basket. And with his length, it's tough to bother his shot. We'll look to deny him the ball when he can and just try to make it as hard as possible every touch. Kevin will see how successful they are. Thanks again, Doris. Well, as Clark was talking about when referring to the Blazers, the bench scoring was a big problem for him as they didn't have anyone really outside the starting five that Steve could be counted on for seven points or more a game. Yeah, look, the NBA game is 48 minutes long. It's tough to, to survive for those full four quarters when you have no offensive punch off the bench. But I, I think this offseason they added a lot of firepower, a lot of uh, scoring in reserve, and we'll see if that makes a difference for this team this year. Well, he's one player who can get hot in a big hurry. It's like he has an on-off switch, and once it gets flipped on, he's tough to stop. And he's also a guy, Steve, whose confidence is not very easily shaken. That's an important quality to have. He'll miss a few shots in a row, but they're not going to cause him to doubt himself, not in the least. Well, since the new CBA, the league has made the luxury tax much more punitive, but certainly the Lakers blessed with the financial wherewithal to, to be a, a, a tax-paying team. The problem is... It can hurt your flexibility uh, under the new rules just to make deals, and that's going to be the challenge for L.A. Nash defended by Lillard. From the line, Kobe can't hit. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just planks the open jumper. Here's Miritich, and he knocks down the jumper. Miritich has got his first bucket in this one. You talk about the huge fan base for the Lakers, Clark. One of the marquee franchises, certainly in the entire NBA. I would even stretch that to all of sports, Kevin. The market and their finances clearly have helped them gain that stature, but you can't shortchange the organization, the people making the decisions. They've been a winner for a long time, and that's been the magic ingredient that's attracted fans, players, sponsors, the full package. The shot's good for Nash. You know, something we're seeing less and less of these days, that little finger roll. The Trailblazers have gone two for four from the field so far today. Three-pointer, Lillard gets it to go. Lillard's got himself going there, his first points of the game in the deep ball. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. Now here's Kobe, defended by Navarro. And the basket by Kobe. Well, their plan of attack has been pretty clear to see. I mean, get the ball inside and just take it strong to the hoop. Be dominant in the lane. Well, the defense has been very slow to adjust. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. And now Nash pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Aldridge with it. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. The Trailblazers have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. Well, pretty good numbers for this club a year ago, Kevin. 78% uh, as a team from the free throw line. You know, something you can point to when you're talking about their areas of success last season, free throw shooting. The free throw drops for Aldridge. It could go. Can't get it to go. It's all tied in Portland. And don't go. <laughs> and we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. Boy, you talk about a franchise having some terrible luck with. injuries Portland is certainly that team a lot of emerging stars in Rip City have had their careers or tenure cut short because of injury and the injury bug once again reared its head for Portland here's Rodriguez fires the three and that one's good Rodriguez has got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Trailblazers a wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. As you said, with the Blazers throughout the ages, they've had to deal with injuries to guys like Walton and Odin and most recently Roy. Unfortunately, Steve.
starting over is something that they are used to doing. But they are in a pretty good position to do so right now, Kevin. Uh, I think they've been really good in the draft the last couple of years. Obviously, they got a star in Damian Lillard that they can build around. To me, the key is LaMarcus Aldridge. Can they re-sign him? Can he be that dominant low-post guy in Portland for the next five or six years? He sure has the potential. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, gentlemen, rumors coming out this summer that LaMarcus Aldridge was not entirely happy in Portland. It seems he'd like to play in a bigger market with a team further in its development. A tough situation for the Blazers, who really don't want to part ways with their franchise big man. Kevin, we'll see how it pans out. Well, I wouldn't count him out just yet, Doris. Thank you. Last season was the best yet for Robin Lopez. Career highs pretty much across the board for Lopez as he stepped into the starting center role for New Orleans. Sometimes it's just a matter of opportunity before a player gains the confidence to be productive in a starting role. Back to Kobe. Oh, that's blocked. Here's Clavier. He's guarded by Hill. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And for Robin Lopez, not the score that his twin brother Brooke is, but, you know, he's showing some signs offensively. Well, he's efficient from the field and from the foul line. And the key for him is to, to continue to work on his rim protection, his defense in the lane. He's got potential uh, to be very good in there. Wesley Matthews checked in for the Trailblazers. Well, you look at the Lakers' struggles last season, I think it surprised most of us. You know, some of it was injuries, part of it was just a, a lack of production off the bench, then there was the inconsistency of uh, the coaching and, and just the, uh, the, the number of different people who were on that bench. So, difficult season for the Lakers. Miritich has checked in for Victor Clube. Johnson kicks to Farmer. Lots of room. Off the left rim and out. Well, that's a warm-up jumper there. I mean, when you're a pro, you can't make excuses for missing that one. And you look at the struggles that the Lakers bench last season when injury struck. They didn't have the players really to fill that void. Yeah. You know, Kevin, I think for the Lakers, the bold strokes for the star players have been impressive, but it's the fine details of finding undervalued role players. That's where they've been lacking. Once injuries happen, that was thrown into sharp relief. And really, even when healthy, to win a title, you can't just have a great starting five. We know that. You need another four or five players you can count on to give you quality minutes. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Clavert has checked in. Here's Miritich. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Miritich has got his second bucket giving them an opportunity at second chance points with some hard work on the glass there. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Kobe goes in. Rebounded by Miritich. Oh, they're now plus five in the rebound category, really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamour stats. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. Um, but when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. Johnson kicks to Hill. In the post, and no good trying to get that one. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Trailblazers out in front. They lead by six. Now, presented by Sprint. Welcome. I'm Damon Bruce. A great game going on out in Port The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And it's been a back-and-forth game so far with no ground given through the first game. Third quarter starting here now. Trailblazers leading by six. You know, even though it was a down year for the Blazers in terms of their overall record last year, they still enjoyed quite a bit of success at home. It's one of the better home court advantages in the league. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Well, gentlemen, the Lakers barely squeezed into the playoffs last season. Despite that, they had the largest luxury tax bill in the league, almost $30 million, more than double the next highest team in the Miami Heat. 
So maybe one silver lining for them with Dwight Howard deciding to move to Houston? The team won't have to shoulder the even more punitive taxes that began this season. Kevin? Good point, Doris. Thanks. The Trailblazers shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. And for the Blazers, as you said, not the year they won, but Steve, they still managed to finish 22-19 and 19 here in Portland. Well, it's a young team, very talented starting five, but very little depth. And I think over the course of an 82-game season, the lack of bench help really cost Portland. But a lot to be excited about, some good young talent, uh, and, a, and a home court that traditionally has been very positive for this team. Let's it go. No good off the back of the rim. Lakers trail by five. Addition out to Young. Back to Kobe. And that one's good. Kobe's got four points now in the quarter. And I'll say this about him, Kevin. I mean, it looks like he's made of rubber sometimes because defenders just bounce off him when he's driving the lane. What a finisher. And perhaps the best thing about him, Steve, is the way he takes charge down the stretch of close games. The higher the stakes, the better he plays. We've got 148 left in the third quarter of the game. Kamen gave up his old caveman look, guys, but he's still an intimidating presence in the post. Good size and strength, and doesn't really get pushed around. Also excellent timing when it comes to shot block. And Portland making a change here. And the foul on Chris Kamen. That's foul number two for him. Terrific defensive play to cut him off and square up. And he took a shot. Excellent toughness to get in there and make a play. I love that kind of work. And Chris Kamen skilled offensive. Ambidextrous finishing inside and, and a good mid-range shooter. Yeah, I think he's really good offensively. He's got a lot of skill. He's tough to handle. I mean, the question mark with him is defensively. You know, his weak side rotations can be late. He's never really been, you know, a center that you kind of solidify your defense around. That's tipped. Young right side. Dishes it to Gasol. You know, for Paul Gasol calling last year a rough year might be an understatement. He fought off an injury and tried to find a role on a team that was in transition. So a year like that can really take a lot out of a guy. Lakers shooting their first free throws of this game. Well, you look at last season's numbers, guys. Down below 70% as a team from the line. And it's something they know that if they improve, can really have a big impact on their success. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And Steve for Pau Gasol, he dealt with knee tendonitis from the first day of the season, then a concussion, torn uh, plantar fascia. I mean, he just had one setback, it seemed, health-wise after another. It was just that kind of season which uh, symbolized the, the fate of his Lakers, too. They just never seemed to get it going until it was too late. Uh, but, you know, with Gasol, we're talking about a guy who's remained effective for a long time in his career. And when you have that kind of skill level, I think your game can translate as you get older. And Yui kicks to Miritich. Frames it from nine feet away. Miritich has got six. You know, he'll make you scratch your head and throw your hands up as a defender. I mean, you just don't know how to play. Lakers working the ball around now on the wing, Kobe. And there's the feed to Kamen. Only one man back on D. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And the three off target. Here comes Nash. And the pass to Young. Uncovered. That's in. Coming off an assist by Cody. He's got ten. This has been a different kind of game here in the second half. I thought both clubs a little slow in the first. No question, but they're really going at it now. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard fought battle for. Lakers trail and the foul on Mo Williams. That's his first foul. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Now here's Kobe. Kobe draws the double. Kamen. And 
is hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. Here's Fernandez. Great tee that time from Nash. Here's Los Angeles now to tie it up. He takes it up and lays it in. Nash has got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Lakers. The Trailblazers shooting around 40% from the floor here. That's a two from Lillard. They get the rebound. Here's Miritic. Rudely thrown down after the offensive rebound. He is ramped up now. He is. You're right. And you figure this game might come down to a few of those upper plays. Always does, Kevin. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Seems like that kind of a contest tonight. Cloak loose. Hit his foot. And the official saying it was kicked. to Kobe. Banked in off the glass. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially inside. Yeah, you look at the numbers, 10 of the last 12 points have come from close range, so I agree. No good from the ball. Lakers have gone 2 of 3 from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Same on call of the Lakers. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Mike D'Antoni had to say to his team. The message, stick with it. You said the game is right there, fellas, right there for the taking. But we've got to play with purpose and precision. Kevin, can they get it done? And as always, Doris, thank you. And Young gets to Gasol to take the lead. Here's Kamen, deflected by Cabrera. Just over a minute and a half right here in the fourth. Gets the front of the rim and out. He's one guy the defense is not afraid to leave open from that range, and for obvious reasons. Gasol fires. Here's Kamen. Another miss by Kamen. You can see how much the defense respects him. I mean, they were all over him on that one. And it's Clavera missing. And they forced the miss with that good defensive rotation. They're playing well together as a unit. Good on the first, and that gives them the lead. Marcus Aldridge has checked in for Portland. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a two-point ball game. Has such a great rhythm at the line, whether it's with a big lead in the first quarter or with the game hanging in the balance like it is now. He hasn't done much on the offensive end, but he's worked within the team concept to help them get the lead. He's done some other things other than scoring to help his team get the lead here. Here's Gasol. Nice D from Hurtick. Another shot. Portland's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Austin Navarro. From downtown, hands the three. And yeah, that is the shot of the game. Well, he's got the guts and courage to take it and the skill to make it. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. First free throw is good, and that narrows the gap to one. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Claver has checked in. And he makes both free throws. Boy, big shots there. One mistake, and the game's over, but he got it done. Lillard, the pass to Claver. Some solid defense from Kobe. Great job defending the hoop there. So important to have good presence defensively inside. Al Gasol. Kobe dishes to Nash. Gasol on the high post. Oh, missed it. 
Well, the defense just looked a little lazy on the glass there. Yeah, nobody boxing out. That's inexcusable. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. They had that play ready to go. Well done on the inbound. Here's Kobe. Oh, no good there. The potential game winner off the mark. We've got overtime action now, folks. Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, Dorsberg on our sideline, and this is Kevin Hart. It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. So they have the first opportunity on offense right here as we begin overtime. And the whistle blows is going to be on Damian Lillard. That's his first foul. Victor Clover, who's checked in for Robin Lopez. Here's Blake. Nick Young on the wing. Hill. That's good. Hill's got the first basket here in overtime for the Lakers. I like the way they got the ball inside there. Well, there. He's guarded by Hill. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D. I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here. Because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. Right back to the basics there, using the one-hand slam for that one. Doesn't he make the basics look pretty exceptional? Yeah, he does. They look sweet when he does them. Well, he should stay with those basics in a tight ball game because we've got one here tonight. Here's Clover. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. At the line for two. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaking. Chris Kamen's checked in for Jordan Hill. And he does get the second one. And that narrows the gap to one. Lakers shooting in this game, 45%. Blake kicks to Young. He dishes it to Gasol. And it's sent back by Aldridge. And they'll keep possession. And it turns out it's going to be a foul. He was hoping for a clean block, but the officials felt otherwise. So we'll see some free throws here. Steve Nash, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And the free throw drops for Kamen. Well, the N1 turns this into a two-possession game. Costly foul on that play. Navarro guarded by Kobe. They grab their own miss. Well, there. And it's blocked by Kamen. Tries to keep it alive. But they get it back. Come! And he has brought them to within two points. And the crowd roaring to life. That was a huge shot. And they're just about dancing in the aisles now. What an eruption in this building. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Damian Lillard. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. So he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. And that makes it a two-possession game now. Those could turn out to be vital free throw. Three-pointer for Mendez. A rebound by the Lakers. Boy, he's got a nice-looking stroke. That almost went in. Yeah, a lot of times he'll hit that shot regardless of the defense. It's the first, and that puts them up by five. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. Those foul shots put them that much more in the driver's seat. Lillard, the best in the bottom. And a miss there on the triple. Gasol with it. And outside. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Milicic is checked in for the Trailblazers. Nash dishes to Young. Kicks it to Kobe. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Okay. 
He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Now a timeout called by Portland. They're trailing by eight. Fifteen seconds left to play in the first overtime. On the wing, Batum. Tires the three. Portland again, missing. It's going to be a tough loss to swallow. They just didn't have much gas left in the tank once we got to overtime. And so the Lakers take the win. Clark, what a game. Yeah, they kept their cool, stayed with the game plan, and that's why they came out on top. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Perry, Doris Perry, this is Kevin Hart. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, Kobe Bryant.